What's up guys, it's your boy Dr. Joker. Yes, I am back and I am alive. Uh, we are doing a video back on Bubblegum Sim. I know, I know. I said I was done with this game and I put it aside. That was almost a year ago. But uh, I've been playing it. I've been, you know, kind of like in the dark, like in the dark, like kind of hiding in the corner. Um, but still playing and still trying to keep up and everything like that, but definitely, uh, I've been playing this new, uh, circus update. As you can tell, I have, uh, been doing all right. Uh, I've got the, I've got both of the bubble pass pets, uh, as you can see the cat mouse and the dark soul. Uh, both of those, I'm pretty sure I maxed out. Yes, maxed out. So there's the cat mouse at 25, level 25, max level, for, uh, level 40 enchanted. Uh, there are the stats for you. It is 11,550 in the bubble. Uh, ah, mind blank. Um, and then I've got... 27,225 in the coin multiplier. Hey, that's the word I was looking for. And then the gem multiplier is 25,275. That is not bad, my friend. Uh, then tickets, 7,200 in the ticket multiplier. Uh, now, one thing I've been kind of wondering about, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, your Christmas pets uh, from the Christmas event, now that Christmas is over with, and there are no more presents to collect, uh, kind of a quick little joke about that. There are no presents to collect. What is that? <laughs> Apparently there are still presents in the VIP room. <laughs> but anyway, um, yes. Back to what I was saying. The pets from the Christmas event. They now have this little icon here. That's not a present. It looks like a... I don't know what you could call that. Almost like... From... The everlasting gobstopper from... The... Charlie and the Chocolate, Chocolate Factory. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway... Um, that's actually all of the currency. That is the candy, the bricks, the shells, the pearls. Nani? The... What is that blue thing? Comment down below if you know what the blue thing is. I, I'm I'm just drawing a blank. Uh, and then there is the lava stone. Um, and there's a star next to the pearl. But the blue thing... Blue thing. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Anyway. That is... So that is all the currency. So, like, if I equip my Christmas pets, like, I get the multiplier in all the worlds. So, like, uh, these are still pretty valuable. Because uh, you can actually collect in all the worlds with those pets. And not have to change teams which is pretty exciting so I'm kind of hoping that they're gonna that they might do something like that with these since tickets will not be a thing after the circus event is over um because like every pet's been uh been able to be utilized after the events are over uh because they have a that particular currency uh of actually the last update the last world that was put out when the event uh, before the event started so like your diamond cerebrus and uh, the diamond tamer uh, uh, yes I know that is a lot of shiny golden diamond god I can't speak this morning uh, but that is a lot of shiny gold lions 
But anyway, yeah. So like, see, they they collect the uh, lava rocks or whatever you want to call them, magma stones. <coughs> Excuse me. Along with the like Halloween pets, also did the magma stones and stuff like that. Uh, after the candy event or after the uh, Halloween event was over with, so. They did the same thing with like the puffer fish and the bro pet. Bruh. Bruh. So that would be uh, something interesting to see. Anyway, so back to the pets. Uh, yeah, I, so I got the cat, the cat mouse, the dark soul, which was the premium uh, bubble pass pet. Say that three times fast. Bubble pass pet. Anyway, um, that is fully maxed. Twenty-five level twenty-five and level forty in the enchantment. So it does thirteen thousand eight hundred in the bubble multiplier, which is awesome. Forty-four thousand five hundred fifty in the coin multiplier. Gym multiplier is sixty-three thousand. 450 and then the ticket multiplier is 13,350 that is definitely a game changer when you unlock that pet for uh, collecting tickets so uh, comparing the dark soul to like a fully leveled fully enchanted dark omen uh, it does 9,840 in the tickets so it's got like a 4,000 advantage uh, over the Dark Omen. Now, uh, I've got a shiny Dark Omen. It's not maxed and everything. It is at 7,000. I will be maxing that one out to see how it compares to the to the Dark Soul. Uh, I'm working on leveling this guy. I just got yesterday. The Elephant Plushie. <laughs> yes, this is a, definitely worth going through the event events spending tons of tickets uh and then you get uh this guy so i'm at level 14 uh, it didn't take me that long to get there but it's right now at level 14 you know fresh 14 6128 in the bubble multiplier 22739 in the coin multiplier and then 28135 in the gem multiplier and then 7,168. So this guy, I really feel like fully maxed out, it's going to trump pretty much all of these. Uh, except the shiny omen. I, that will be a, uh, a close one. Because it's only level 5. And then this thing's a uh, level 7. But, you know, most of your shiny high-end legendaries tend to put out, uh, put out higher multipliers due to the fact that it is 10 legendaries in one. So, uh... Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much uh, all the pets. And I've got the shiny circus stack, uh, also really good stats. And then, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, that is pretty much it. I know my pets are a mess. Uh, I have so many unleveled pets, and I just don't have the time and places. And that's why when a lot of people ask me to trade. I'm like, you know what? Nope. It would take hours to decipher through my pets to see what I have. Uh, and you would literally just kind of like have an aneurysm or your brain would just start smoking, trying to like comprehend all the pets that are, uh, that are in my inventory. But, um, yes, that elephant plushie is huge. The, Cat Mouse is adorable. I do have the shiny Dark Omen, which looks amazing. And uh, the Dark Soul, also amazing. Uh, comparing the Dark Soul to my neglected... Um... Let me unequip you for a second. Where are you? I might have to use a search. Nope, here you are. My King Soul. So let's pull that out. 
So as you can see, Dark Soul, King Soul are practically the same size, same shape, everything. Can I put a crown? Sorry, let me just nerd out for a second. I'm gonna put try and put a crown on uh, Dark Soul and see what happens. All right, uh, let's try this one instead. Ta-da! So it's like your own little mock-up of the uh, good and evil with the uh, the King Soul and Dark Soul. I do like how that crown kind of sits almost the same. Uh, but yeah, that's awesome. But so, anyways, uh, wasting time. So yeah, that's the item shop. Then you have other ways to make current uh, earn currency other than running around like a madman in the uh, circus tent collecting these uh, tickets which I if I don't hide my pets it's literally just like a guessing game if I'm gonna grab a ticket or not and then you have the card matcher game where I can come over here and uh, mad click these cards and flip them over and try to match them uh, yep I made a match Yay. but uh so we have and that the amount of tickets that you earn from that are based upon the multipliers that your pets have now you can also play the guess the pet game uh, that one I kind of enjoy the only thing I don't like is like if you misspell it, it's like, oh, you were so close. I'm not typing fast enough. Yeah, I was too slow. Here we go. Oh, God. Split. So there we go. Game. Correct. Split. 108 points. And then I'll show there. I'm in first place. Because I am the only one playing. I am lonely. Oh, this is a popular one. The Festivus. And it... Your points are based upon how quickly you answer it. And answer it correctly. Oh my goodness, my hands are not working. I don't remember. I, I, I think it's like four or five pets before the game actually ends. Is that a Minty Hydra? Yes. Or not Hydra, Serpent. One of my favorite ones, when it goes shiny, it goes pink. So yeah, that, that's the sign that the game is over. You have earned 64 million, 864, 208 tickets. So yeah, you can play that a few times. And uh, if you have good pets out and uh, with good multipliers and get currency pretty fast. Good night. I didn't even check to see. I need to make some shinies clear up some of my inventory. But uh, but yeah, that's the circus event, guys. I I'm enjoying it. Uh, one thing that I'm you know I'm still playing. It, the only thing that is kind of a discouragement to me at the moment is you know the last secret pet that I got. Where? Oh my gosh. I'm having a time with my inventory right now. It was this boy. Uh, Lord Shock. Comment down below if you remember when that one was. Um, but, yeah, that's... Uh, I have literally hatched, as you can see, 3.4 million eggs. Uh, 
around the time that I got Lord Shock, I was at one something, maybe close to two. But since then, I've literally hatched hundreds of thousands on every event, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of players with low hatch, like hatch scores, with secret pets, like multiple secret pets, and it's kind of uh, making me think, what am I doing wrong? Because I'm definitely buying boosts like I am buying boosts like it's candy or like it's going out of style but anyway <laughs> hello darkness my old friend oh had to have that moment for a second but yes guys I am back I am gonna try and do more videos based upon you all's reactions and comments down below and likes on the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel uh let's uh let's just have fun with it if you've hatched a secret pet in the event if you've hatched one of the top hats and you want to show it off in a video i will be more than happy to i mean i've done it before you can watch watch my history videos I give the pets right back and I not not a scammer not in any way shape or form I could not live with myself if I took somebody's pet I I mean it's just not me I am an honest person I work for my stuff you can ask anybody that I play with I I just don't see the point in scamming and taking people's stuff. That's, you know, the big man upstairs would not like that. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye <laughs> Thank you. Nani?